Hey guys, I'm Brad M73, and we are back with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And um, just gonna kind of pick up from uh, the last episode. I think we did a, another uh, mission. We're back in Zurich, uh, but I'd like to go down. Let's see, where do we have? Let's see if we got any <clears throat> missions that take us. Well, let's see, Italy wouldn't be too bad. Like Milano, let's see here. 10,000, Metz, uh, I've already been to Metz. Strasbourg, Geneva, and Stuttgart. Well, we've already gone back and forth between Stuttgart a few times, so let's take one of these big excavators. Let's see, 2,500, okay, so we're gonna pick up a big excavator and again, we're running on uh, <clears throat> running on the latest patch. Um, oh, it looks like we're already here. Where's the excavator at? Oh, that's probably it down there. Um, we're running on the the latest patch, which is uh, 1.3.1. And um, noticed a few subtle changes, um, but nothing you know, nothing major. All right, so we're going to take that guy. Yeah, let's see, let me zoom all the way in. Whoops. Well, maybe that he's not. Oh, I see which one it is. It's the one back here. Alright. So we don't have a whole lot of room. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay, usually they're like over on this side. And I thought for some reason I was going to have to pull forward and uh, connect. So, all right. Well, that's not too bad. So, it's not a very big excavator. It's not the largest kind by any stretch of the imagination that we can, uh, you know, pick up. I'm using my mirror up there at the top right to make sure I don't hit any of these things. Alright, we should be clear. Alright, we're clear. So yeah, last time I was coming into Zurich, I was going around the uh, roundabout just to the north of the uh, the major, like, you know, downtown area and uh, got damage off the roundabout. And that's the second time that's happened um, since the patch because um, we did it, um, I think, on the 1.13 uh, episode and... Um, and then I didn't do it on like I did it off screen uh, coming over here because so I thought I would actually run a few um, missions just to kind of get some more experience. <clears throat> but um, then I thought, nah, you know, we got a good route this time, so I thought I would uh, come and get you guys and uh, do an episode for the. Uh... <laughs> so the guys are getting off there, they're making rights, and they're getting right back on the highway. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, on this inside turn, um, on the inside turn, so not the lane we're in, though I'm going to see if we'll get damage now too, just going up this way. But yeah, right in here somewhere, there's a big thunk, and um, I don't know if maybe it's this little dip right here. Hmm, I don't know. There was a little dip back there in the road, at least on my lane. I don't know if it's on the other lane, though. OK. 
turn signals on, get out in the traffic here. Okay. Shoot, and I still haven't upgraded my motor, <laughs> my engine. Ugh. I really need to do that because this uh, this uh, stock engine, even though I think it's like a 500, 500 horsepower, it's still kind of lacking in the power department. So we will do that uh, eventually. Caesar, Strasbourg, and Bourne. Okay, looks like I gotta make a get over to the left. And we'll probably have to get over to the left again. like that. Alright, so let's see, I can't tell whether or not my okay, cruise control's on. Alright. Okay, it looks like we gotta make a right up here. Oh, oh. Whoa. Um, I did get a mission. Uh, well, here's what happened when I was uh, thinking, oh, I'm gonna run a few missions. Um, you know, get some more experience. Get, I think I can't remember if we're at level eight or nine, but uh, get closer to the next level. Um, I did actually get a mission um, to pull some cars. However, I didn't take it because. Um, it wasn't really paying very much, and um, and I wanted to get as much money as possible uh, so that I can uh, upgrade my garage soon. So um, anyway, yeah, I saw that and I was like, ooh man, I wish uh, I wish I could have gotten that with you guys. But I don't know, maybe when we get down here to Milano, um, you know, we'll get a mission like that. So we'll see what happens. And let's see, it's 7 o'clock, 7.55 in the morning, game, in-game time. Ooh, there's a balloon. Aww, isn't that, that doesn't, doesn't really look like the correct dimensions for an actual hot air balloon. Whoa, I'm running off the road. Yeah, I'm going to go back and mention my, uh, you know, hold lane key for 10 seconds or something like that. Um... Because uh, it'd be nice to just, you know, hold a lane for for a little bit and, um, you know, just to enjoy some of the scenery. Let's see, 249 kilometers to go from Zurich to Milano, I think. Yep. Oh, there's some cars. Like he's trying to race me. And I'm not sure if we're going to, whoops. I turn my uh ooh, look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. Whoops. Trying to get back into the cab here. Okay. That well that was exciting.
And we've got we're up to ninety seven thousand three hundred forty nine. So we have a little bit over eighty thousand to go before we can upgrade our garage. And then on top of that, we're gonna have to spend even more money to buy another truck, which will probably be oh, I don't know. I haven't looked at the Volvos yet, so we'll just have to see what's paying. You know what's what good price. Ooh, this is pretty through here. Whoa, zoinks! I guess we're going through the Alps again. This is a long tunnel. Are there like really long tunnels like this through the Alps? I'm not sure. I wonder what the longest one is. I would I'd be curious to know that. I'm sure if you Google what is the longest car tunnel through the Alps, you'll probably find the answer. Or I could find the answer. Man, this is a long tunnel. I don't think I've been down this way before. Not that I can remember. Let's see, 175 kilometers to go. Man, this is like the never-ending tunnel. Uh-oh, are we coming out? Yay, we're through! Well, it looks like maybe they're constructing a second tunnel back there. Don't want to run into the virtual barriers there. Still 150 kilometers to go. Looks like you could uh, hear the construction back there. And the snazzy, stylish barriers here are always uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like a nice trip. Uh, you know, the nice mountainous scenery. Milano Torino. I want to make sure we're heading that direction. It's not, definitely nice to have a GPS. Um, <laughs> I remember when I was traveling around Europe, uh, didn't really have that luxury at the time. Actually, maybe one of the last times I was in Germany, I might have had one. But that would have been like kind of in the early days of car GPSs. They weren't very common back then. Oh, this area is pretty nice.
I'm not sure why the steering seems so much more touchy when you're in the external view than when you're in the internal view. But that's just the way the game is, I guess. 92 kilometers. Never been to Italy. Um, never really had any reason to go. Um, really any desire to go. I mean, I'm, it would be cool to go, but I mean, I've never said, oh, I need to go to Italy. Just never have. I like exploring the different views, but should probably stay in here. Uh, we should get a bus. <clears throat> I wonder if uh, Stocko is playing his bus simulator. He says it's really um, ultra realistic, I guess. <laughs> it takes him a long time to get his bus started up. Uh, I'd like to see that, uh, see him uh, playing that. Hey, is that the same tra trailer that passed us earlier? Oh, we're still in Switzerland. Okay, now I think we're going into Italy. And we're in Italy now. <laughs> okay. Gee, gas is doing fine. Rest is doing fine. Damage. We just repaired our damage. Actually, we might have 1% because we hit that stupid bump in the road earlier. 2%. Oh, we might have hit it twice. <clears throat> oh, well. Get back over to the right here. Big water tower off in the background. And so begins the toll roads. Yay! I can't wait to pay. Actually, I'm going to take this one. Telepass. It doesn't really matter which of these lanes you get into. I think some of them are supposed to be cars and trucks only, but come on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Cut this guy in the yellow car off because the semi is going to cut me off. Let's see, Milano and Torino. Wait, it just told me to go right, but why is the GPS telling me to go straight? Milano... Well, maybe you can get... Oh, okay, so we can go either way. Hmm. Shoot, I should have gone right, because then I would know I could go past that. Not that we don't have to. Oh, I still can. Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, we're taking the longer wet route. we got plenty of time to get, get there. Milano Baron. This looks like we'll get off on a roundabout to the right. I'm trying to watch the signs now. Sometimes it's hard to see the hard to read the signs, and that's probably just a limitation of my computer specs and resolution. I think my well my, my screen's not like ten eighty P. I think it's like I think it's fourteen forty by nine hundred. It's a seventeen inch monitor. <clears throat> 
I get a little bit jaded playing games on my Mac because I've got a 27 inch monitor on my Mac. And I probably should build like a Windows 7 gaming machine, like a desktop, but I just don't really have the um, the resources right now to do so. Well, I mean, I could, but I just I don't I don't know why I prefer playing games on a laptop instead of a desktop. I guess it's just what you get used to. Gosh, I haven't owned a desktop computer since my Alienware, and that's probably been over 10 years ago, back when Alien... Well, I don't even know. I don't. Is Alienware still around? I think they are. But they used to be, I mean, really huge back in, like, the late 90s. <laughs> God, I hate to say that, Mike, that it was that long ago. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I had like a top-of-the-line Alienware for a while, and then the power supply kept burning out of it. And I kept shipping it back to Alienware, and they kept replacing it. And it ended up being more of a pain in the butt than anything. And I don't know why what was so wrong with the power supply. But um, it didn't like me for some reason. But other than that, it was a great computer. And I used it... Well, actually... I think after the second, well, I think after the third power supply, no, I think I sent it back twice and replaced the power supply, and after that, it never gave me any more problems, but, um, ooh, what's that thing? It looks like a big stadium, like a indoor arena or something like that. I don't know. Milano discovered. Scania. My frame rate seems to be dropping off quite a bit. Not sure why that is. Probably because my hard drive read write speed sucks. <laughs> that's the only that's the only reason. I can think of. Come on, lights. Here's the hotel. And we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. Ooh, there's a nice big train yard down there. Wow, look at that. Maybe that's why my frame rate's going to heck. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. Man. Yay, zoinks. What the heck? Oh. Oh, what? Ugh. I didn't even see... I, didn't, I don't know. I guess I wasn't looking at the light, apparently. Apparently not. Stay green, you booger butt. Alright. Oh, come on, don't stop. Okay. Let 
And we're going to be making another left into Transinet. And are you guys ready for my super awesome park park job? I thought so. And I'm turning my wheel all the way to the left. I don't think we're going to be able to get enough of an angle to get my uh, trailer all the way over. Yep, I don't think so. No, that's not going to happen. So now we are. Whoop. Let me pull forward just a bit, kind of get me get myself straightened out here. Wow, I'm kind of disappointed with my parking skills this time. guys there we go Zurich to Milano and so we earned an, earn another 10,496 and we are almost to level 8 so um, all right so we're gonna uh, check out some new routes here and um, we'll be back in the next episode so this is uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and I am Brad M73 um, if you're enjoying the uh, episodes please like my videos uh, please uh, give them a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, you know, all it does is help me uh, out, get more exposure, more viewers, and um, your help is much appreciated. Please leave any comments uh, or anything you'd like to see in the game, um, you know, in the comments section, and I'll uh, I'll try to do what I can to respond to those and uh, and uh, and address your uh, questions. So, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm out, and I'll see you in the next episode.